10 less than x less than 19 x is an odd natural number which lies between 10 and 19 or 11 13 15 and 17 this is the graphical representation of the solution set for the given inequality 7x plus 3 is less than 5x plus 9 semi closed and semi open that is x belongs to 1 to infinity is the solution set this is how we are going to represent it on a number plan Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. So in my previous class, we have discussed regarding the different types of inequalities, that is linear inequalities and the problems based on the linear inequalities, that is finding the solution set whenever it is a natural number and an integer. So today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding same finding the solution set and representing the solution set in a graph that is called a graphical solution of a inequalities of number line. So representing the solution set on a graph is called as a graphical solution of inequalities on the number line that I am going to discuss in this session. Now very important point for the point of examination. Solve the following inequalities and uh, show the solution set on the number line that is graph represent it on a graph. Now what is the first equation 7x plus 3 is less than 5x plus 9 just find out the solution set for this. So the given equation can be written as given equation is 7x plus 3 is less than 5x plus 9 or this can also be written as 7x minus 5x is less than 9 minus 3 that is 7x minus 5x is 2x is less than 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. So which implies x is less than 6 by 2. Therefore, x is less than 3. x is less than 3. Okay. Now, therefore, what is the solution set for this? So therefore, x is equal to or x belongs to less than 3. 3 and less than 3 is 2, 0, minus 1. So that up to infinity right minus infinity that is it ok. Now how to represent this on a number line? So here this is plus infinity and minus infinity this is 0 right. Now what are the values? So here x is less than 3 this is 0, 1, 2 and 3 this is the point this is 3 and x is less than 3. So this is 3 we have this is 3 and less than 3 means all the values towards minus infinity. So therefore, x belongs to minus infinity comma 3 is the solution. So this is the graphical representation of the solution set for the given inequality 7x plus 3 is less than 5x plus 9, right. Here the solution set is x is equal to minus infinity to 3 means so the values which are less than 3. So all comes under this. So less than 3 we are usually representing like this. So let us uh, write like this. This is 3 and less than 3. So since it is a open interval we are going to represent like this. So here I can write the graph like this. So this is plus infinity and uh, minus infinity 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and minus infinity. So here this is 3. So all the values less than 3 comes here. So therefore x belongs to minus infinity comma 3 is the solution set. This is the graphical representation of the solution set on the number line. Now move on to the next problem 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 5. So what is the given equation? The given equation is 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 5 or this can also be written as 5x minus 3x is greater than or equal to minus 5 plus 3. 5x minus 3x is 2x is greater than or equal to minus 2 which implies x is greater than or equal to minus 1. Now here since greater than or equal to minus 1 means therefore the solution set is x belongs to closed interval minus 1 then infinity that is it less greater than or equal to minus 1 and infinity right. So therefore the solution set 
on the lumber line can be represented like this. This is plus infinity and minus infinity, 0, plus 1, plus 2, this is minus 1. Now, here it is minus 1 to plus infinity. So, this is minus 1, minus 1 to plus infinity. This is the solution set. So, therefore, x belongs to semi closed and semi open, that is minus 1, minus 1, comma infinity is the solution. This is how we are going to represent it on a number line. Okay. Hope you followed. Now, move on to the next problem 3 into 1 minus x less than 2 into x plus 4. Same, the given equation can be written as this is a given equation 3 into 1 minus x is less than 2 into x plus 4. Let us multiply this with 3. 3 minus 3x is less than 2x plus 8. So, or you can also write like this minus 3x minus 2x is less than 8 minus 3. That is minus 5x is less than 5 or minus x is less than 1. Minus x is less than 1. That means this implies x is greater than minus 1. So, x is greater than minus 1. Therefore, what is the solution set? Therefore, the solution set is x belongs to minus 1 to infinity greater than minus 1. So, x belongs to minus 1 to infinity is the solution set. Now, how to represent this on a number line? So, this is plus infinity minus infinity 0, 1, 2, this is minus 1, right. What is the solution set? x belongs to minus 1 to infinity. This is minus 1, minus 1 to infinity. This is the solution set. So, write the solution set x belongs to minus 1 or etc. up to infinity is the solution set. That is it. Very simple. Just multiply 3 minus 3x is less than 5x plus 8 or minus 3x minus 2x is less than 8 minus 5 or minus 5x is less than 5 means minus x is less than 1 which implies x is greater than minus 1. So, therefore, the solution set here x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the solution set is x belongs to minus 1 to infinity. On the number line, we are going to represent it as this is minus 1 to infinity, x belongs to minus 1 to infinity is the, the solution of this inequality on the number line. That is it. Okay. Now, move to the next problem. Same, 3x minus 4 divided by 2 is greater than or equal to x plus 1 by 4 minus 1. Now, just first the given equation can be written as given equation 3x minus 4 by 2 is greater than or equal to take LCM 4 is the LCM x plus 1 minus 4. So, 3x minus 4 by 2 is greater than or equal to x 1 minus 4 is minus 3 divided by 4. Now, this can also be written as 4 into 3x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 2 into x minus 3. That is 4 3 is a 12 x minus 16 is greater than or equal to 2 x minus 6. 12 x minus 2 x is greater than or equal to minus 6 plus 16. So, 12 x minus 2 x is 10 x. 10 x is greater than or equal to 16 minus 6 is 10. So, that means x is greater than or equal to 10 by 10 means x is greater than or equal to 1 x is greater than or equal to 1, right. So, what is the solution set? Therefore, the solution set is x belongs to, this is greater than or equal to means closed interval up to infinity. x belongs to 1 to infinity. How to represent this on a number line? So, this is plus infinity and minus infinity. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. 1 to infinity. So, 1 to infinity means this is 1, 2, 3, etc. This is 1. 1 to infinity. So, x belongs to the closed interval 1 to infinity. So, that is half closed and half open. So, semi closed and semi open that is x belongs to 1 to infinity is the solution set. This is how we are going to represent it on a number line that is it. Okay. Hope you followed. Now, let us move on to the statement problems. What are the statement given here? The mass obtained by a student of class 11 in the first and second terminal examinations are 62 and 48. So, the marks obtained by a 11th standard student in 
first and second terminal examinations are 62 and 48 respectively. Find the minimum mark you should get in the annual examination to have an average of at least 60 marks. So, he has scored 62 in first, 48 in the second. Then, how much marks you should score in the annual examination in order to keep his average as 60 percent, 60 marks, right? Very simple and very important problem. Let us consider let, let x be the marks, marks obtained by the student in annual examination, marks obtained by the student in annual examination. So, let us assume this is the marks of time. Now, already he scored 62 and 48, right. Now, therefore, take the average of this. So, in the first terminal, 62, in the second terminal, 48, plus in the third annual exam, x divided by 3. So, an average of at least 60 means greater than or equal to 60, that is it. So, 62 plus 48 plus x divided by 3, which is greater than or equal to 60. Now, very simple concept. Let us assume let x is the marks obtained by the student in the annual examination. In the first and second terminal examination is scored 62 and 48 respectively. So, take the mean of this that is 62 plus 48 plus x divided by 3 which is greater than or equal to 60 because in the annual examination to keep an average of a minimum average of at least 60 means greater than or equal to 60. So, what is this equal to 62 plus 48 that is nothing but 110, 110 plus x is greater than or equal to 180, right. Now, therefore, we can write x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 110, means x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 110 is 70, x is greater than or equal to 70. So, therefore, you should have to get minimum marks of 70 that is so in order to get an average of 70 in the final examination he has to score 70 and more than that so the student has to score more than 70 marks that's it okay so that means what is the conclusion therefore the student must score minimum 70 marks in the final examination in order to get his average score as 60 that's it very simple problem just take the average that's it 62 plus 48 plus x by 3 is greater than or equal to 60, 110 plus x is greater than or equal to 63 is 18, 180, x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 110 is 70. So, therefore, x is equal to 70, minimum has to get 70 marks in the annual examination to keep his average as a 60. Now, move on to the next problem, similar type, find all pairs of consecutive odd natural numbers both of which are larger than 10 such that their sum is less than 40. Now, we have to find pair of all consecutive odd natural numbers both of which are larger than 10 and the sum of their numbers must be less than 40. So, we have to find a pair of all consecutive odd natural numbers, right. Now, let us write a solution for this. Now, let us consider the small odd natural number. So, let x be the small, be the small odd natural number, small odd natural number, this is an odd number, x is a small odd natural number. Then other number will be x plus 2, right. Suppose if one number is x, then the other number will be x plus 2. The other number is, other number is x plus 2, right, that is it, okay. So, let us consider x as the smaller of two odd consecutive numbers. If x is one number, then other number is x plus 2. Now, what is given? Find the pair of all consecutive odd natural numbers, both of which are larger than 10, such that their sum is less than 40, okay. So, what is given? x is greater than 10, x is greater than 10, and the sum x plus x plus 2 is less than 40. This is the given condition. So, both of which larger than 10 such that their sum is less than 40, right. So, x is greater than 10 and x plus x plus 2 is less than 40. So, that means solve this. 
x plus x plus 2 is less than 40, 2x is less than 40 minus 2, 2x is less than 38, therefore x is less than 38 by 2 means x is less than 19, x is less than 19. So what is the condition so here, x is greater than 10 and x is less than 19, therefore we can write 10 less than x less than 19, 10 less than x less than 19, okay. That means all the numbers which lies between 10 and 19. Since x is an odd natural number which lies between 10 and 19 or therefore we can take x is equal to 11, 13, 15 and 7. These are the values which lies between 10 and 19. So 10 less than x less than 19, x is an odd natural number which lies between 10 and 19 or 11, 13, 15 and 17, right. Now what is to find for the required pairs are now therefore the values of x which lies between 10 and 19 are 11, 13, 15 and 17 are the consecutive odd natural numbers. Now we have to find the pair of all consecutive odd natural numbers. So therefore, so therefore the required pairs, required pairs are, so we can take 11 comma 13, 11 and 30 that is more than 10 and the sum 11 plus 13 is 23 first pair again. The second one is 13 comma 15, 13 and 15, here also the sum is 28 less than 40 and again third one 15 comma 17, we can write 15 comma 17, so here also the sum is less than 40 and 17 comma 11. So these are the pair of consecutive higher natural numbers, both of which are more than 10, such that their sum is less than 40, okay. See here 17 plus 15 which is less than 40, again 17 plus 11 which is also less than 40. Hope you followed. That is it. Now move on to the next problem. Find all pair of consecutive even positive integers. That first one is odd, this is even positive integers. Both of which are larger than 5 such that the same is less than 23. Same as that of the previous problem. But in previous problem I have taken odd numbers, here it is an even positive integer. Right. Now let us consider let let x and x plus 2, x and x plus 2 be the two even, even positive integers. Let x and x plus 2 are the two even positive integers, right. Now what is given? Given that x is greater than 5 and yes, both of which are larger than 5 such that their sum is less, their sum is x plus x plus 2 is less than 23. x is greater than 5 and x plus x plus 2 is less than 23. This is a given condition. Solve it. You will get the solution. So what is this equal to? x plus x plus 2 is less than 23. 2x is less than 21. x is less than 21 by 2. That is x is less than 10.5. x is less than 10.5. Okay. So therefore, 5 less than x less than 10.5. So x is greater than 5 and less than 10.5. Since the value of x lies between 5 and 10.5, that means all the values which lies between 5 and 10.5 which are on a even positive integers are therefore x is equal to we can take 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So x is equal to 6, 8 and 10 are the three values, right. So therefore the possible pairs are Six comma eight again six comma eight eight comma ten and ten comma ten plus two that's equal to twelve. So six comma eight eight comma ten and ten comma twelve are the possible pairs. Okay. Now move on to the next problem. What is the next problem? Ravi obtained seventy and seventy five marks in the first two unit test. Find the minimum marks he should get in the third test to have on average of at least 60 marks. So the same similar to as that of the first problem. So marks obtained in the first and second test are 70 and 75. So what is the mass he has to score to keep at least an average of 60 in the next test? That is it. Okay. Now same as that of the previous problem. Let, 
let x be the marks x be the marks in let x be the marks in the third test let x is the mass code in the third test so therefore what is given 70 plus 75 plus x divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 60 so what is this equal to 145 plus x is greater than or equal to 180 so x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 145 so x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 145 is 35 so minimum has to score 35 marks in the third test in order to keep his averages more than 60 at least 60 so therefore therefore x is equal to 30 so minimum of 35 marks is to be scored in the third test to keep the average as more than 60 that's it this is how we are going to solve this problem very simple problem hope you followed these problems so that's all regarding today's session let us meet with a different concept in the next session thank you thank you very much